Hi, and welcome to another Kerbalized Realism. I'm your host, Foxworth Human. It's 1955, and the Kerbals will go higher, faster, and further than they have before. January 11th, Jeb has dropped in the KX-1, 325 kilometers out at an altitude of 13 kilometers. To refresh, or in case you missed the end of the last episode, he has three contracts. Reach 700 meters per second, climb to 28 kilometers, and break Mach 2, which is 686 meters per second. So the 700 does that. He is able to achieve both speed contracts, but only climbs to 24 kilometers before a critical engine failure. He can just make out the coast in the distance, but unfortunately, once again, a water landing. Someday, Jeb, someday you'll put that thing down on a runway. Now, mission control. The Kerbals pick up early K-plane development, long haul continental flight. Prevail to fly 700 kilometers while staying under 7 kilometers high, the stratosphere low. On the runway, early morning, January 26th. Veil vale is ready to fly further than any Kerbal has before. She also has an X-Plane supersonic contract to maintain a speed between 650 and 700 meters per second for three minutes. There is a waypoint 350 kilometers to the north, somewhat near where Wallops Air Force Base would be. Unfortunately, I didn't have Dreamliner expansion downloaded yet at the time of recording. So, she won't be doing any flyby, and that is really disappointing. But after reaching her cruising altitude, she fires up the afterburner to get that speed contract. Then, once she gets to the waypoint, she turns around to make her trip back. No better time than now to remind you to go down below and like and subscribe if you have not already. It would appear Val pushed a little too hard. A minor engine malfunction. Lucky for her, the Sparrow is a twin engine. She can ease it back to the KSC with just the one. She does indeed make it back safely. Something Jeb has yet to do. And touchdown. After a long glide down the runway, she'll turn off onto the taxiway. It didn't take long for the Kerbal engineers to get Jeb a new engine in the KX-1. February 8th, Jeb's attempt number two at 28 kilometers. He fires the engine, it gets a little squirrely before leveling out and starting his climb. He tops out at 30 kilometers. Almost running out of fuel, he begins the descent. One final effort to get to the skid strip, he uses the last of his fuel. After changing some settings, the ocean disappears while he's lining up for the skid strip. We were getting worried for a job, but he splashes down in the invisible ocean. Back in Mission Control, they select extreme long distance of at least 2,000 kilometers, intercontinental, and X-Plane supersonic jet aircraft 
no rockets of 700 meters per second for three minutes. With all four experimental rocket plane contracts being completed, X plane tie is now unlocked. Jeb's first of those will be 30 kilometers, which he just did, and then he'll also break Mach 3 of 1029 meters per second. A quick look in the tracking station of where Vale will have to fly to. There's her waypoint way out in the Pacific. Shortly after sunrise, March 4th, Vale once again to fly further than any Kerbal ever. Interesting, after the engine swap, the action group for the afterburners is no longer there. Them Kerbal engineers will have to take a look into that. After establishing positive lift, she begins her turn to head out towards the waypoint. She'll climb to four kilometers, lock in, the crew's at 325 meters a second, while over the land. Once Vale gets out over the gulf, she'll engage the afterburner, set the speed to 725 meters per second, and cruise for three minutes. After an epic flyby, we are treated to an in-cockpit view She reaches the waypoint, turns around, heading for home. She sets the speed to 520 meters per second and re-engages the afterburners. Apparently, she is not worried about fuel consumption. As she gets over the mountains in Mexico, she realizes fuel is burning quite fast. So she shuts down the afterburners. She then proceeds to fly straight into a thunderstorm cloud, reducing speed to 420 meters per second. Noise. An effort to save more fuel. Right in the middle of that cloud. It got real dark. And poofs out. And you just gotta love the volumetric clouds. As she gets somewhere around the middle of the Goth, she's got about a quarter of a tank left. So closing in on the Florida coast, she reduces speed once again to 275 meters per second and drops to 25 meters. With the cape in view, she drops to 1500 meters, lines up for another smooth landing. Goes in, in cockpit again, showing us coming in, line up nice and well. You can hear the landing gear coming down. Maybe someday we'll actually get a landing from that view. Puts down too early. And there's the shadow. Vine in and another smooth landing. Unfortunately, she goes just past the taxiway. Contract complete. So other content continents look much like this one. But they are warmer or colder. And we are not sure flying so far is good for Kerbals. And thank you for watching this. And be sure to come back next time. Goodbye.